welcome to Let's Create, and I know what you're thinking. Wow, is her camera close, really close. Well, today I got in the mail my tabletop tripod, so I figured we'll give this a try. It'll let you see more of what I'm doing than, than, my, ta than my messy table. So today... I have a um, 20 by 20 gallery wrap canvas uh, by um, Artist Loft, and I uh, purchased it at Michael's. And I had this aha moment that, hey, I want to do a painting of lips, of a lip. So this, ta this painting is going to be entitled SWAC. It's an acronym for Sealed with a Kiss. So I used to have a keychain that were the hot lips. Very popular back in the 80s. I still have it somewhere, but it's broke and I can't use it as a keychain and I don't want to lose it. So it's in one of my junk drawers in the kitchen. A hot lips is red in color. I have a variety of red and gold and one purple, or violet, I should say. And I was happy enough yesterday to get in the mail the Arteza Bordeaux Red. Look at that red. Isn't that pretty? And I mixed it with my Floetrol. There it is. Plums. Mm. Delicious. So that's going to be our base color for our little swack here. And let me get my gloves on. Let me let you know what our colors are going to be. Okay, so we have the Arteza Bordeaux Red. The Extreme Sheen Deco Art Ruby. Arteza Crimson Red. Folk Art of Bread Flash. Pebio Studio um, Precious Gold, Iridescent Precious Gold. Deco Art Americana Satin in Lipstick Red. My favorite color, Art Alchemy's Red Wine, Art Mine's Spice Wine, and for a little bit of a change, we're going to have the Saks Heavy Bodied Violet, Sergeant Art Liquid Metal Gold, Arteza Scarlet Red, and Deco Art 24 karat gold. Okay, so I was going to coat it with the red, but I think I kind of like the individual blobs. So we're going to do blobs of color. And then we're going to marry them. We're going to blend them together. So. We'll start. It's going to be a big blob. Oh, and then we'll be using my handy dandy airbrush. I think on my, one of my previous um, video I called it an air gun. It's an airbrush. Okay, so there's a nice big blob. I'm kind of going dark, light, dark, light, kind of like that. This gold 
by Pebio is scrumptious. It's the only word for it. Now we're going to do that. My red wine. Target liquid gold. Hmm. This blob might encompass the whole painting. And there's our. Oh, the last one was the scarlet red, and then the deco art. We torch it. Got quite a few bubbles there. Okay, so like on my other videos, we're just going to mesh the colors together, blend them with the air gun. That Bordeaux red is beautiful. Now, once I'm done with the, with the lips itself, I'm, uh, I have a, an outer color that I want to use. It's just going to be a plain uh, paint. I'm just going to paint it on. Let's tilt this and see if we can thin it out a little bit so it won't take us long to to dry. Ooh, pretty tilt it there. Can you see that? Sorry. Okay. Now, let's try and oh, I wanted to add some more Bordeaux red. Such a pretty color. Now you're probably wondering why I added the purple or the violet in there. It's just to kind of like help pick up the monotony of the red. I need that bird to put a little gold there. Okay. Oh, that is too bad. There. Okay. Now, won't put as much. Do our next blob.
and I'm doing them in the same order that we did the first blob. My daughter is, edit, or is editing my videos. The very first video that I taped, she added music to it. Now, I don't know how you guys feel, but I hate irritating music. I love music. I just hate irritating music. <laughs> And I noticed that a lot of YouTube artists, they don't talk, or, oh, let's, they don't talk on their video, they just write down what they're doing um, on the screen, this shows up, it pops up on the screen, and um, then there's music behind it. I tend to not watch those type of videos. I don't subscribe to them. Because to me, you don't learn. I learn through hands-on um, visual learning. But in my old age, I cannot stand irritating music. So <laughs> today, I watched a lady I subscribed to because she does some excellent work. Usually she talks through her, uh, her, her videos. But today she had the most, I mean, it, it was like migraine, migraine music. And it bugged the heck out of my ears. I mean, my ears, I, I was trying to get to the remote control so I could mute it. I couldn't even pay attention to her work because her music was just so irritating. So I went on YouTube and I left her a comment. I told her, I said, you know, you have some beautiful paintings. I said, I like your work. It's beautiful, but your music is irritating. And I might seem a little bit cruel, but Sometimes I think you have to let people know these things. I mean, we're here to learn from the feet of the master, so to speak. And you can't learn if they're not telling you anything. Well, that's what I think anyway. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know in the comment section. I, li I like to read the comments. And, um, and if, as long as you guys aren't being mean, well, you can be mean. I don't. I don't see you guys, so <laughs> it's like I wouldn't know how you'd look like. Oh, I want to put a little bit of red on this. That is such a pretty, pretty color. My boyfriend, I think, is a little jealous over the fact that, that me not being an artist, the way he is an artist, I have all these paints. I, I swear I go crazy on certain things. Tend, I tend to uh, go overboard sometimes. I, I go from one passion to the next. Oh, I love this. Let's 
except the gold seems to be staying on the one area. Got to move it. Come on, gold. Flow a little bit. There we go. There. Okay, let's torch it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to lift up the canvas and turn it the part that I painted my way because I need to see. I am blind as a bat with looking at things up close with glasses on. I want to make sure that where the canvas and the tape meet that I don't see white. I don't see the canvas, that it's covered with the color. Some more air bubbles. No, I'll turn it back to you because it looks like you'll be able to see. That way you can look at what we've done so far. Now the color that I'm going to paint the outside, I'm waiting on it. It's by, it's going to be by DecoArt Americana. It's color, it's green, and it's called Leprechaun. I can't wait. It should cause, it should make the red of the lips jump out. Okay, we'll start right here. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Not going too bat, bat crazy because of this pandemic. Me, I tend to stay at home, so it doesn't bother me. But then sometimes I go, I want, I want to go to Michael's places like that. And I'm too lazy to go. I, I swear um, Amazon made a killing with, with me. All the paints and things that I purchased from them throughout this whole pandemic. <laughs> they ought to love me. Okay, there we go. I don't think we can tilt this one because then we'll ruin what we did with the upper lip. Make the, air, the airbrush move the paint for us. And I think it's not as strong so, must be dying again on me. Add a little bit of Bordeaux red over here. That Bordeaux red reminds me of this lipstick I had paid like it was the most expensive lipstick I ever purchased. I think, or I think it was Fernand Aubrey was the was the name on the lipstick, and it was called Paris. 
Oh, it's so beautiful. I love that color. I purchased it just the one time and then they've discontinued that line. So I never f could find that lipstick ever again. So the only thing that came close to it was the um, drum beat red. by L'Oreal. Okay. This thing is not so we might have to go with my leaf blower. It's leaf blowing time. Okay, let's see if we can just do it gently. Not oh there we go. That's better. Now the paint's moving so much better for me. Okay. That should be good for the next dollop. We don't want to thin our paint too much. So, dollop number three on the bottom, or two. <laughs> I guess I should introduce myself a little bit and why I got it started into this uh, paint pour pouring. Um, I was watching, I was mainly into paper crafts and decoupaging at first. Like I said, I go from one extreme to another, so to speak. And um, one day, I was, you know, watching all the paper um, crafting that I like to watch. Uh, mindless crafting is one of them. I mean, I bought a lot of rubber stamps, uh, poly, poly, whatever type of uh, uh, stamps, stamp sets. I mean, that's another thing I spent a lot of money on. And um, one day I was uh, watching, trying to look for some more paper crafting. One of her and, uh, videos popped up. And she was doing a Dutch pour. And I said to myself, I want to learn how to do that. So I watched... I um, immersed myself in the YouTube world of paint pouring. Then I um, saw Sarah Mack's video, and I said, oh, I like that, and I want to try that. So I watched over and over. I mean, my boyfriend is so sick and tired of me. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not using that. I'm using the leaf blower. I was wondering why I was having a hard time moving the paint. My, um, he was sick and tired of me hogging the TV, watching nothing but paint pouring. But I really don't have much to do because I've been off of work for medical reason going on a year now and um, I lost my gold hmm I lost quite a bit of my gold now let's try that 
and a little bit more. So I, I uh, did my first, the very first thing I did was a, um, a Dutch pour. And I wanted it to be like a military uniform because I was in the army. And I wanted to make it look like a military color. So I picked the color and uh, I don't want those two to mesh. So I did it and it turned out really well except for the fact that the paint fractured a little bit. It frayed because I my paint was too thick. And so did it again. This time I tried to do a Ceramac and I thought it turned out well for me anyway. And I was hooked. I've been doing it, oh, when did I start watching them and start? I've been doing it since February, I think, is when I first saw one of the first uh, videos that Canela Soraka had put out. So, if you guys aren't, if you don't know who Canela Soraka is, you should check out her, uh, her paint, her uh, videos on YouTube. Missing a color there. Need a little bit of that. And a little bit of this. Probably a little bit of this red too. Huh? Scarlet red, the violet, liquid gold. Okay, that looks, that looks good. So I think there's a little too much scarlet red. I need a little bit of this uh, Bordeaux. So I've probably spent thousand, over a thousand dollars in paints, equipment, so I wound up with a slew of um, paints. <laughs> but it's a stress reliever. I have you know, I'm more often than not, I'm in a lot of pain. So this kind of helps take my mind off of it. I have uh, diabetic neuropathy and it's not fun. Then I also suffer from vertigo. So that limits me on what I can do at work. It also limits me on how my distance in driving. So my boyfriend drives me places I need to go in my vehicle. And I stick close to home within five mile range. 
if I do drive. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one again. Because the other one is just blending the colors way too much. So tomorrow I'm going to have more paints coming in from, you guessed it, Amazon. And that, that's when my uh, leprechaun color is coming by Deco Art. Americana Satin. I don't know if it's just me. Yeah, my leaf blower blended too much. My We're going to do a smiley line there. <laughs> I touch my paint. There we go. So if you guys are out there watching this video and thinking that you can't do it, just give it a try. Start off with the um, cheap paint from like Walmart, like the apple, apple barrel, you know, small, Walmart sells some inexpensive um, canvas, although at this time, their canvas are like gone, <laughs> they, every time I go there, their paint are empty, the shelves, I mean, it's like Mother Hubbard's cupboard there. And it's like as soon as they get canvas, any type of canvas, they disappear. People buy them up to keep their kids occupied. Oh, uh, my camera turned again. There we go. Sorry about that. Can't say I blame them. Kids need uh, preoccupied too. Or else cabin fever sets in. Ah, I think we got a good coverage here. So this video will probably take more than just one day to do because we have to sit and let this dry and then remove the tape. Hopefully the tape comes off without ripping the paint, the, our paint with it. I, I kind of like this. Uh, this effect here that is making it, oh, this thing is really, I should plug in my other uh, air, airbrush. I did buy a corded airbrush since this one doesn't seem to want to do the job as often as it needs to. I mean, it comes in handy. Except it needs, it needs to work. Yeah. Look at that. 
it's not moving the paint. But I like it. Looking for more bubbles. I think I have too much gold over here. Put some of the Bordeaux red. Okay. Let me stop the camera and bring you down. Although you are very close to it already, but I'll bring you down and show you gold. There's the violet. Look at the cells. bottom part of our swack part I added a little bit more Bordeaux to break up a lot of the gold that was pooling there for some odd reason the gold wants to take over and we don't need it to take over so oh there you go so we'll pause and for today, hello, welcome back. As you can tell, my swack has dried. Nice. And uh, I've taped, get left like a smidgen of red showing through there so that when I do the inside of this, of the mouth, um, it'll bump up against that red so then it doesn't look like as if you know, like you missed a spot. Um, and then try to rub, get something, either your nails or popsicle stick stuff, a popsicle stick, and try and rub the tape so that. It, the paint won't go underneath it and mess up your the your the part of the painting that you don't want. You don't want to get a different color paint on. Okay. Even though I've done this, there's still going there's a 99.9% .9 chance that you'll have paint that, that will still go under there. But at least we've minimized it somewhat. Okay, so I wanted to leave the, the inside of the lips white. I don't want a definite show of teeth because to me then that's not a swack. That's a dentures. Um, but I don't want to leave it plain canvas. So I bought this, and it came in the mail the other day. It's by Grumbacher Academy. It's an iridescent white, and I placed it in here. Kind of like an off-white. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to use my favorite sterling silver by uh, DecoArt Metallic. And for the base, I'm going to use my um, Dutch pour white for it. Okay, so let's shake up our paint. Uh, 
dollop right there in I'm gonna put the silver I'm gonna be light on the silver because then I don't want it to look like as if there's rotten teeth there that's very light then I'm gonna be liberal with the iridescent iridescent white. Pop a couple of the bubbles. Let's test it out. I love it. Like I said, I, I don't want it to look like teeth. I just want it to look like empty space. Sort of. Like empty space. Okay, yeah, that's exactly how I wanted it. Can you see that? The camera is up close. So, but I'll show you an up close shot, closer than this, <laughs> once we're done. Okay, of course, more Dutch pour there, or Dutch pour white. A little bit of silver and a good dollop of uh, the iridescent white. I don't see any bubbles, so there's no reason to torch right now. And don't forget that you want to blend the two, the two puddles together. And you want to give a good amount to where you see your red is at because You want it to blend in. So I want a thicker layer where my red is at. I had wanted to finish this off yesterday, but health-wise, I wasn't able to. I had an episode of vertigo that basically had me laid up. I think the only reason why I left this house is because I had to pick up medicine. I got to label that. So this label maker comes in handy Dynam by Dynamo. I bought it at Walmart a long time ago. It's like $15 or something like that. liking it. Okay, I think I got that in there right there good enough. So let's finish off this side and we're almost done. And my air airbrush hasn't died yet, knock on wood. Oh, but anyway, the label maker, if you don't have one, take a, a marker and write down on the bottle. Write down what the color is this, who makes it, say this is, it'll be Artist Flow, Dutch White, that's what I put. Okay, let's finish this off.
So once this dry, we'll finish it off. I'm going to put an I'm going to outline it with uh I'm going to outline the outside of it with uh, the violet color that's on the paint here. I want to outline it with that. Close my bottle up, and I'll bring you in for a closer look. Okay, there's a close-up. Look at the cells, the lacing, the ivory color, the grit, the silver. You, it's just there as a hint of. There it is, right there. It is. Oh, my camera's not focusing. There's the silver. See, it doesn't look like yucky mouth. Right there. And look how well it dried. You see, hint of the violet right there. I'm loving it. Okay, until the next part of this video. Okay, we're back. The white has dried, except for a little bit here, which I touched. And I'm going to fix that show, uh, showing you. So I've taped up the outline that I want to do. And I'm going to just, straight out of my, my bottle, the Saks Heavy Bodied Violet. I'm going to pour it around just like this. Nice big, nice big uh, globs. was surprised that the white had dried so quickly. Now I bumped the the tape on the red so that it blends in. I might need more than one coat of this, but we'll see how it dries. Oh, for the part that I touch, oh, you can barely tell, but I know it's there because I'm the one who touched it. <laughs> Where did it go? Oh, right there. So, just going to put a little glob the white the twist caps are so much better little glob of the sterling silver and our iridescent white sure it's as flat as what the paint is on there. That's it. All fixed. Okay. Next time you see me, 
hopefully we'll this um, one coat of this violet is good enough. And there's a bubble right here. But I think we might have to do a two coats of this. But we shall see. Okay, and then the other parts my boyfriend will do. Okay, well, I'll till next time.